Welcome back to the new Professional StarCraft 2. I have the pleasure of introducing the largest terror in StarCraft 2 with the red SCVs. I give you Big Gay, better known, or at least also known as Hero Marine. His counterpart on the top, right? A bit of a challenger in this map. The Polish Protoss player. It is Geralt for Size Storm Gaming. Yes, a best of three ESL Cup battle as these two face off. I do have to say, Big Gabe, as many times, both it for fans and in matchups, the favorite. Uh, but Geralt has is not a pushover himself. He's won about fifty thousand dollars in StarCraft Two, mostly a bit quietly, rarely getting to the very end rounds of tournaments, but. Highly competitive and very capable on a on a particularly good day of taking on Big Gabe. But you know what Big Gabe has been up to lately? He has actually been playing the new patch. I know everyone has. Uh, it's live on the ladder. But there is no player who I think has really put the effort in to adjusting their builds, trying new styles. Uh, working in uh, units that maybe have a different role, uh, whether it be ravens, uh, well, mostly ravens, <laughs> mech, uh, liberators, all of that. Of course, Protoss got some changes as well, but I don't think too many of them changed the nature of many of their units. But I really like what Hero Marine's been doing, uh, and there you go, with the raven early on. And I hope you like this video. Thank you for watching. Let's kick it off. Orb gate completes. And so far, a, a gas-heavy opener for Big Game allows him access to the factory, the starport, the Raven, early on. The Raven is cheaper. It builds faster. 150, 150, 34, and start 42 seconds. But the auto turret has uh, less HP and armor. Anti-armor missile does a two instead of three. Um reduces armor by two instead of three. Interference Matrix originally was going to be uh, nerfed in duration, but that did not end up being the case. So the one nerf to Interference Matrix is units will now act like they still have an attack, even when they can't attack, so that means not as many Colossi wandering into your tank lines. So uh, the biggest buff to Colossi in the patch is, is an indirect one. Speaking of, though, we got Blink on the way. Robotics Bay for Geralt here. Raven sliding along that top terrace near the balcony. Royal Blood, a beautiful map. <coughs> Think aptly named. While the maps might not be the particularly creative in layout, the aesthetic is, is quite beautiful on many of them. Forge. Robo Bay, blank. Looks like Geralt is content to kind of chill back to start. So far, actually, nothing has been lost. Just a few things canceled, I guess, over here. Uh, which is how that shows up on the units lost him. Colossus Charge. So the Raven kind of biding its time. Um, yeah, well, in case you were wondering if Geralt sees... Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa! Huh, not the best use of an early raven there. I guess he definitely did. And the raven just goes down. Not quite enough airspace for it to be lurking back there. The raven gets its wings clipped. And that's a, a bit of a weight off the shoulders of Geralt here. Another raven back at home for Hill Marine. I think the raven itself it now has the same cost and about the same build time as an oracle uh clearly intended as more of a support unit something to help snipe observers give you options in the fight but without being uh, honestly it kind of felt somewhat weird to me as a, a backline harass unit as opposed to something that just complements the strength of your army so now with a little bit less effectiveness on those auto turrets but the cheaper cost you're seeing uh, a bit easier to combine in and with pushes. Not that Terrans were shying away from that before, but uh, overall, 
adept trying to hide over here, but uh, while cleverly done, the high ground vision more than enough to, to spot out the adept. Hero Marine, only one tank. Blink Stalkers almost find another Raven here. Interference Matrix, that Colossus locked down. And another attack coming through. Goes back, gets stuck on the second Colossus. Double Interference Matrix, the full scramble right now. First Colossus comes back online. The second one, about to as well, but the Marauder stimming forward. Down goes the Colossus. Eight probes down as well. More medevacs on the way across the map, and with the Widow Mines connecting. Plus one, ground weapons about to complete for Garrett, but overall this attack for Big Gib has been decisive and has done near critical damage. Extended Thermal Lance. They give a bit more breathing room for the Colossi, trying to target down the tanks. Blinks out of a mine. More charge lots warping in. The plus one going to help with the Colossus, but not enough to stop the Marauders and the Marines for stimming past the gateway units and knocking it down. More on the chase. The tank only three kills, but it's added so much damage in this engagement. Hero Marine has done 71% of the damage between them, and he's not quite completed yet. A bit of a, uh, uh, a tech... I don't know, extravaganza here? That's maybe a bit much, but all the tech clustered on the edge where the drops can be threatening. And Hero Marine has not done the reinforcements or rallied across the map. The Blink Stalkers, not nearly enough to deal with this. One Colossus helps with the roasting. A single charge lot able to take out those Widow Mines. Another mine, not blanked. And Hero Marine, overall, while he didn't attain overwhelming and, and game-winning victory, it, it does appear he's done the damage. Back at... Well, back at the back. Another drop. Shut down. A couple more uh, probes taken out. But Geralt actually took a fourth base. This might have been why he took so much damage. That first assault is... It got a little bit greedy. Got whittled down by, by Hero Marine here. But does Hero Marine not know about the base? Yeah, this is a very quick fourth in the scheme of things. There's six gates... In fact, because of this fourth base, I'd say Geralt not in a terrible position at all. Maybe losing two Colossi, those sentries, the probes hurts, but it's a lot easier to recover when you have those extra bases to fall back on. A four Widow Mine drop loaded up, heading out. We do have Blink Stalkers complementing the Colossi, the, the classic combination as they're able to help with any anti-air needs, which are, are not rare with Colossi. Big Gabe, though. He has five racks online. More than enough production to put together another attack. He didn't really take any damage at home this in entire game, so it's been Geralt's on the back foot. One Widow Mine. Armory is complete. He doesn't even notice the mine drop. Three kills. He's worried about the attack down the center. Another mine, trying to scamper down, just in between the bases. This is all, this is all to reduce the APM of Geralt. I'm not talking about Ashens per minute, I'm talking about attention. Because dealing with these mines is not the easiest thing to do uh, time efficiently. Cost efficiently, maybe, but time efficiently, they are uh, a pain to dislodge. And now Geralt is getting dragged out of position. The mines continue to connect. The damage count is racked up. Gets two medevacs, though, as Hero Marine strays too far forward. Observer spots the double drop heading towards the main. We'll see if there's anything to defend. A cannon is an enough to deal with the mines for now. Geralt is on the chase. He's had enough. Does he have Storm done? High Templar. Still, uh oh, he's forced to recall back. Didn't spot it with the Observer. The Widow Mines! Four more probes. There's still one in between. I love what Hero Marine did here. Oh, kills his own stalker to kill the mines. Well, uh, that is possibly the most time efficient, if not cost efficient way to deal with them. Still didn't notice the mine in the center. Another one, another mine, another mine. A little bit of Minecraft gameplay here from Big Gabe. Man of taste. The double drop loads up again past the... I think that's the pirate ship from the... Why did the pirates get the coolest ships? Not important. And mine keeps reloading. It's up to... It only has two kills. Blink Stalkers almost get some of the medevacs. Geralt is holding on. He's rolling with the punches right now. 
Charge lots headed towards the main. Warp prism, so far so okay. And this warp prism, uh, Hero Marine has been on defense this entire game. Another mine connects. Hero Marine has been on defense. Not, I, I take it back. Geralt has been on defense. Hero Marine clearly on offense. Uh, but if he's forced to look backwards instead of forward, that could open up the map for Geralt and be the opportunity he's been looking for for half the game now. Meanwhile, Charles Lots into the main. A huge warp in here. Seven, eight SCVs already. The fourth base. Not a planetary yet. Bio Army comes down. Storm lands on top of the army. There's a disruptor here. Only a few Vikings not repairing the fourth. Charge Lot still rampaging throughout the main. The armory under attack. Charge Lot drop. Disruptor shots. Hero Marine still at 190. We got three attacks happening simultaneously right now. There's still the mine in the main. Vikings looking for an angle. EMP lands. Still a couple of Templar intact. EMP not quite able to make the difference. Goes towards the main. Blink Stalkers catch one of the medevacs. Drops out. Main base cleaned up for Hero Marine. Fourth base defended for Hero Marine. Widow Mines finally taken out for Hero Marine. And the main base of Guild under attack by Hero Marine. So far, Big Gabe weathers those attacks and the storms with flying colors and medevacs and Vikings. And that's all the difference here. Geralt, though, all credit to him. He's kept his supply high. He's dealt with most of these attacks relatively efficiently. While he's lost a couple thousand more minerals overall, he's mined a couple thousand more as well. So, makes up for it. Vikings move over to the left flank. Disruptor shots flying through. Vikings knocking down the Colossi. Blink stalkers move to intercept. Disruptors find the connections and storm seals the deal. Vikings on deck. Hero Marine. Bio Army on the ground. Vikings trickling in, hitting the deck. Disruptors, a big charge lot warp and though can turn the tides. Plus three, plus one. And the charge lots make use of the space the disruptor created. The medevacs are running out of energy and soon units to heal, but another disruptor shot has to dodge. The reinforcements, what a game. <sighs> but at the end of the day, once again, Hero Marine comes out with a supply lead, a significant army supply lead. But I gotta say, Geralt is managing his spellcasters incredibly well. A lot of players will kind of use the disruptors as just a, a, a larger hammer. But he's right now using them to as like scissors. He's cutting open the army and then the charge lots eat up the pieces. Uh, it's very hard to... to get into that scenario without thinning out your own army too much but so far it's it's enough for Geralt to to stay in the game big gabe has been really laying on the pressure right now but Geralt is standing up to it uh those scouting ruptors ah uh, yes the classic tactic not entirely sure that one's intentional oh just as i was giving him all the compliments a few of his units get caught in the middle of the map storms though slowing big gabe down for now the medevacs will heal up almost almost instantly for any units that survive. No more ghosts here. That is a lot of Archons combining their plus three attack upgraded damage. Viking knockdown. Geralt holds. Doing an incredible job so far. I am impressed. Uh, I knew Geralt was good. I don't see too many of his games, but I am loving his style. It's a very shield Protoss here. And I think, like, while, while I love a good uh, zest, uh, spicy toss, YOLO toss we've called it in the past, uh, shield Protoss is always very impressive to watch. Army, though, finds itself in between those ramps there. Not going to want to be in the concave with ghosts heading it down. Hmm. Geralt finding more so far uh, disruptor shots here marine dodges disruptors flailing out not finding enough EMP is the bio army adding so much damage some ghosts dying on the front line are there enough shields left over most of the archons have been whittled down but the, the, the bio army itself is thinning out still two colossi intact the stalkers Knocking down the Vikings. Two Colossi with a quarter Colossi HP between them. Gets one. Still one intact. Ghost on the right side. Killing probes. 
This is where the entire fight is right now. They're both entirely focused on this. Tries to chase the ghost. Ghost micros away. But two colossi look like they'll be enough. And Geralt holds. And, oh, gets a few marines for his trouble. And for maybe the first time since they passed 100 supply, Geralt has oh, had the lead on them. Big game. Really tried to essentially tried to end the game there. Uh, by taking that full-on fight. And honestly, it looked like he had enough. It looked like he had the numbers. The disruptors were not landing the shots. The Colossi were not adding enough damage. But between the warpins and the management there from Geralt. But he did walk into a bit of a concave here. That Colossus survived the entire last engagement only to get knocked out almost immediately. There are storms. I don't know if there's enough energy on those Templar, though. They're about to have it. That was 67, 68, 69. Not nice enough yet. And Geralt, though, pressing forward. Proxy pylons. Eventually just getting those warpins. You can't always have a warp prism if you want to keep making Colossi. Ugh. Planetary Fortress not done at this point. He's not getting away. Oh, ah, no disruptor shots. Mules dropped. What a game. I keep saying it, but it keeps being true. Uh, Geralt. Hero Marine loses 14 SCVs, a lot of army supply. Does he even have any starport units on the field? He does not. Colossus from the low ground. Marauder's facing it down, but backs off in time. Wake stalkers up to the top. Blocks forward. Storm on the mineral line. And with it, Hero Marine's economy is shattered. Alright. Alright, Colossus close. Hero Marine doing his best there and finds it and a disruptor those robo bay units just as important if not more so than the starport units for terra 68 to 48 workers Geralt, an impressive and incredibly capable defense and it looks like one more good fight might be enough to grab him game one gg -G -G. big game throws it out what a match from Geralt there. All right, okay. I see you. That, I, I don't even really, it didn't, it didn't help losing that first Raven. That, you really start building momentum over time as Terran. Those first starport units are quite expensive. So when the Raven is invested in, comes across the map, hangs out for a bit and then just dies, that, that certainly hamstrings any attempts. And he was so close to just winning through on that first, essentially two, two and a half base timing, that that could make the difference. But uh, StarCraft is a is a game about inches, centimeters, uh, not about uh, big, broad strokes of strategy usually. So these players are just so good that that much can, can dictate the pace of a 20-minute game. Honestly, though, it was big game. Here at Game 2, uh, Neo Humanity, one of the coolest looking maps. Don't forget about the Bone Trench in the center. Multiple destructible rocks and a bubula kind of define the center of the map, but it, it does expand outwards. Probably the most uh, unconventional map. Daryl gets his game. I, okay, well, I'm always looking for new players to cast. There are a few players that, one, show up in almost every tournament, so it's not like I'm going out of my way to find them. But there are some players that I uh, will, essentially, if I see them in a series, even if it's a mirror matchup series, which, well, look at all this cool stuff. What is this? I'm sorry. <laughs> ah, you guys want to hang out at the Supernova Men's Club later? Sounds pretty uh, hot. Nope, nope, nope. Because it's a Supernova. It's a good, it's a good joke. Anyways, this map is more like... Uh, Oh, Nuka Cola, destroy thirst. I'm sorry. Um, this advertising brought to you by uh, today's sponsor. You. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. You're breathtaking. Nothing too out of the ordinary start. I'm sorry. I was, I was loving the map. Um, I'm just. I'm. I'm. I'm excited. I. I was saying there are some players, essentially the top 10 players, besides Maru and Serral. And on occasion, uh, Raynor will play these less 
prestigious tournament. This is the ESL Cup. Still hundreds of dollars on the line, but that's chump change for Maru and Cyril. Uh, honestly, though, the reason why Maru and Cyril, specifically Maru and Cyril, don't play these tournaments is it is more valuable to them to both hide their top tier strategies and their practice to win, say, the $100,000 or so in the global finals. Winning a few hundred bucks uh, a few times a month pales in comparison to, you know, a world championship. At least, that's my understanding of the thought process. Like, Beyond Hero, uh, Dark, Hero Marine, uh, <laughs> noticing a trend, uh, and Solar, and all these other top players, uh, don't, don't really share that mindset, which I'm very glad for, as someone who is a, uh, trickle-down content creator, uh, a commentator, in other words. But Geralt's, I think, adding to that list as well. I, like, that one, get, he sold me. I haven't seen any of his games in 2023. I'm sold. Okay, I'll, I'll buy what you're selling. Proxy Stargate. Why not? Interesting placement as well. So this, there's a mineral wall. Only takes two um, trips to mine through here. Is he going to find it? Sir. Oh, well. Well, this is uh, not the ideal. I'm sorry, I'm supposed to say something. Cyclone on the way. I was thinking of the implications now, the follow-up and the Twilight and the Oracle and all that. The Cyclone on the way, the best uh, built-in defense against that early Stargate. Big game, figuring it out quite quickly. I'd imagine just because of the, uh, the placement here, this is not a rare spot. Big game well-known for being a ladder hero, especially since the European ladder is about, like, 50% Protoss. His TVP and his anti-cheese senses must be, like, his lactose intolerance. I don't know if it'd be lactose intolerance, because he, he's very adaptable. In fact, he's he was lactose intolerant, but he just, through brute force, uh, trained himself to deal with it. And I'd imagine that's exactly what's happening here, is too many Protoss have tried to take his hard-earned ladder points with that exact strategy. So overall... This, the Oracle does very little to nothing. Uh, the early tech here from Geralt is shut down. And he's going to try to take a third as he mines through the golden wall. I, I missed that map. Stasis at the back. So, a little under the radar, but Stasis got a bit of a nerf. Um, in Stasis now shares the same threat priority as other units, so that means if you see it, your units will shoot it if it's closer than other units. Before, if there were any other units nearby, they'd actually run by the stasis to try to fight them. Of course, if you don't have detection... There you go. <laughs> it, that is irrelevant. <laughs> so, uh, another thing is you can issue commands to your units and they will be followed when they come out of stasis, which is actually quite a nerf to stasis against things like drones as they'll go back to mining immediately after. Anyways, Hero Marine getting chased down, blinked on in six seconds, which might be six seconds too many for this push. One second. Blink finishes, Cyclone blinks back, but a Viking shows up, hits the deck. Uh, Blink Stalker still trying to fight here. Two tanks on everything. Only one siege, but he doesn't actually need both, I don't think. Well, Blink Stalker's on both sides. Geralt is putting up a capable defense here. But the Nexus is taking a lot of damage. He's really trying to work with that. The Cyclone... Oh, not the Cyclone. The Oracle comes in and snipes the tank. Big Gabe snipes the Nexus. Geralt chases down. But he's already lost the most valuable piece of the puzzle. We'll rebuild. He even loses another Stalker there. That's a tough fight. Overall, but... I do think it was a bit optimistic to get that Nexus so quick. But if Blink was done just a few seconds quicker, 
and he had a few more stalkers well once again inches and centimeters how many command centers okay three command centers third command center just finished so overall not a great spot here uh not a great spot for Geralt he is only three workers up he doesn't have an extra base he's getting charge charge and blank are are things that they rely on overwhelming the Terran before they can get set up because gateway units are simply worse than a bio army especially a bio army with any real support whether it be tanks ghosts liberators whatever but on oh my he, he deals with the destruct what it's the entire thing you it's like three different sets of okay i did not realize that another massive gateway explosion in the main but that's not going to stop the viking from coming in killing four or five probes wow six probes and he's 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 spending so much time dealing with this one seven probes oh come on eight for octo probe kills that's not especially considering that viking has no real purpose right now eight probes in any amount of time oh that's oh well that ain't happening for the stalkers though no Hmm. Chrono boosting out the probes, but Hero Marine, this time around, does have quite a lead. He's got 71 workers. He's got his full production lineup. Plus one, plus one on the way, completing soon, TM. Combat shield, following it. This is going to be a difficult army for Geralt to deal with. He's got Storm. He's got a... While Templar glides slightly faster, still putting those Templar in the prism is the best way to get them to close the distance. Well, here we go. Templar in the prism. Storm is done. And that prism looking real. The Hero Marine pre-splitting as he realizes what's happening. Wades through the storms. Charge lots closing in. That is a lot of charge lots, though. The Medivac's not in a great position, and Geralt's able to hold for now. Beautiful defense so far. I, he, he turns that around. That was quite a deficit in army supply, but your Marine already pre-panicking. Okay, pre-splitting against the storms. As soon as he saw that prism making moves like that, you know what's going on. I'd love to see someone make the prism no Templar and then just do that. Because any pro-Terran... Ah, it's like, oh, well, wait a second. Any pro-Terran will know what's supposed to be in that prism. That's a hallucinated prism, why not? Well, rocks are taken down. One path opened up. Suspicious split on the mini-map here. A spotter pylon. Does he recall? He's coming back as quick as he can, but those units... Your Marine hesitates for a moment. The scan recalls many of the units, including the storm prism. We don't mind. Dealt with. And the Templar. He's thinking about it. He's just threatening. The idea of Storm is sometimes enough. Oh, the... No! No! It's a disaster! He was looking the other way. Hero Marine with the Widow Mines. Oh, that's what was happening. Geralt didn't just flounder there. His attention was drawn away by a four Widow Mine drop. Three bases infested by the devilish creatures. And 14 probes as well as the most important prism on the map. Oh, no. Oh, that is tough. And what was a, a, a strengthening defense from Geralt? Without the storms here, the, the bio army is able to thin out the charge lots. And with it, Big Gabe looks to be in a winning position. 100 supply gap just completely swept the leg with that mind drop there the combination the timing incredible and big game tearing through okay i still i, I still think Geralt's uh defense and his his micro is incredibly good
but Big Gabe is so good at, at making you slip, and you cannot afford. You can't afford even that one second. One sec, you look away, welcome to StarCraft 2. You look away one second, and that's it, it's over. You lost the prism, you lost the probes, you lost the game. Game three, though. To conclude this battle, Ancient Sister. <sighs> Let's go. Thank you guys for making it this far. Like, subscribe before we get into it. I'm gonna get distracted. I'm gonna forget. I gotta sell out. Uh, also, one thing. You made it this far. You're a dedicated viewer. You know YouTube is pushing YouTube shorts. Uh, like, it wants you to... Not... Let's just put it this way. YouTube feel like, feels like they definitely missed the boat on the whole uh, TikTok attention span thing. And guess what? YouTube shorts no longer actively hurt your channel when you post them. Uh, before, it would mess with your statistics. Like, for example, you guys are amazing. You watch... Sometimes 15, 20 plus minutes of a video, which is like longer than the average YouTube video in general. Um, as, as obviously StarCraft series sometimes take a bit. Before though, you post YouTube shorts and you know, believe it or not, it's very hard to get someone to watch 15 minutes of a 15 second video. And YouTube uh, would count that against you essentially. It'd say like, wow, people are not watching this video as long. It's like, wow, really? Very genius. Great math. Thank the you. Numbers don't lie, but and they spell disaster for you. Apparently, so far it seems that is fixed. So uh, I had some ideas. Like obviously, as a as a sit down comedian, um, jokes, memes, top tier content for fifteen second attention spans. But my first idea, and I'm mostly just fishing for approval here, was to remake my quick tip series. From about 2014, uh, back when Young Winter cared about teaching people things and wasn't disappointed in humanity as a whole. That's not true. We just hadn't gotten there yet. But um, that's probably my first plan outside of your uh, regular whatever meme comes to mind that day. Uh, is to remake. Because most of those videos are actually maybe a minute long. So they fit that content as well. You want to learn how to drop out of a medevac while moving? You want to learn that SCVs can repair inside of a medevac? You want to learn how to teleport a probe out of your base with a hard wall? Since Protoss never invented doors? Well, I mean, shorts are going to get shoved up in front of your eye holes anyways, because that's how YouTube do nowadays. So, uh, might as well make them mine. My shorts are the ones I want in front of your eyes. Not someone else's shorts. My shorts. So hopefully your eyes will bulge. When they see them and be excited to uh, to look straight at them. So, with that, the Reaper in the main. Bit of a Reaper wall here, just zoning out. Not Cliff Reaper wall. I'm, you know my feelings about that. Oh, the Shade chasing, but I don't think he's going to make it out. Especially with the second Adept to intercept and take it down. Stargate is the choice. And yeah, that is the first loss. He did see the stock. That's, that is the important point for the Reaper. Yes, getting probes is annoying, but the real key is it's supposed to be a cameraman. Cameraman first, murderer second. Important order. All right. Ah! He just murders the tastelope. Yes, the Artosilope and the Tastelope grace many maps with their presence. I, I did that just to warm up his glaives as he goes into the main. Does take three shots to kill those SCVs, much to the dismay of adepts who are so good at murdering probes. Getting kills here. Oh, the uh, horse car into the natural, up to the main. Mineral line expo- Recalls the adepts. Oh, gets him out of the main. Oh. Okay, what's your exit strategy? Put, put it down. Put it, put it down. No. Are you, okay. <laughs> Citizens arrest. <laughs> well, that was, uh, 
I, I love it. Well, all right, factory. Looking for purpose in life, aren't we all? Doing a little bit of a add-on switching here. Looks like the barracks going to end up on the second tech lab. Geralt relying on the phoenixes here. They've obviously been revealed. Was there an oracle? No, he didn't try an oracle. Where are you going? He decided he didn't like it. He the feng shui of the outside of the base. You know what? That's fair. Because that's where charge lots end up. <laughs> Moving things around here. A little bit of interior redecorating for Hero Marine. But it looks like he's finally settled on the positioning. Also, if you have your starport on the outside, then there's a small chance, larger than it would be otherwise, uh, of getting it camped by phoenixes. So. Robo Bay, Forge, Immortal, Phoenix. Enough Phoenix is here to at least discourage any Terran units from going out on their own. Is there a Twilight? He went straight into Robo Bay. Okay. We will see. All right. It's Colossus Phoenix. A, a bit of an old strategy, but it checks out. A, this is one of Wings of Liberty's most dramatic styles for Protoss, where technically the Phoenixes deal with the air. Colossi deal with the ground. Now, Colossi have had some nerfs since then. They no longer do flat damage, like, to everyone. They do... Less damage with a bonus against light. So that means against marines, they're actually slightly better. But against marauders, uh, they are worse overall. And of course, extended thermal glance is a big part of this. And he has not, Geralt has not started that. There is a raven with full energy. Two interference matrices. Already one colossus done though. And a lot of units on the ground. They're ch they are not charged lots. Just good old fashioned slow lots. Z lots. And here, scrambles the Colossus. Now, oh god, anti-armor missile combining in. Widow Mine connects. Wait, are, there's just like no units left. The Colossus comes out of the interference matrix. Probes, 15 probes down. Oh. Ooh. I don't know, the Marines will eventually kill it. I, ooh. Ah, oof, owie, my Colossus. And the big weakness here is that a single raven can just tear it apart. It ends up being, uh, once again, Geralt isn't dead. But can we call this living? So there is no, there is no third base for Hilmarin behind us right now. The Widow Mine will burrow. Certainly won't make things much easier. Gets rid of it. Okay. Well, Hilmarin kept, uh, stimming into the Colossi, and that ends up being enough for Gale to hold. A continuing trend. Elmarine does not have a third command center. I take that back. He does have a third command center. He wasn't building too many SCVs for a while. Geralt lose, lost uh, 17 probes. <laughs> He's rebuilding them quickly. Chrono Booster. Very focused on it. Still no extended thermal lance. The Raven died. Correct. Raven went down during the fight. Raven was the key part of, of starting that battle. Oh no, Widow Mines. Well, he got the Widow Mine drop medevac, so now he just has to deal with the mines themselves. Is he just going to drop on the Colossus? Hero Marine. Well, unfortunately, the Phoenixes are tied up. Widow Mines connect. The drop at the back. More probes gonna die. Hero Marine now with a worker lead. Uh, we don't mind zoning out the phoenixes. Ugh, Colossus eats a mine hit. 
and the, the, the drop split here. Uh, it's rough. Unfortunately, using his own base against him. There is no blink. Another attack into the third. It's all falling apart. A great first game, but Hero Marine has found the weaknesses here. And it is just difficult. Once you take a little bit of damage against a, a Terran of this caliber, it is very difficult to stabilize and, and really put together any counter-aggression as they're just going to keep hitting you. And here goes Hero Marine. Just a volley of punches. 30 probes. Geralt doesn't know. There's there's something everywhere. There's nowhere to go. A Colossus down. The second one. A tough conclusion. But I think a conclusion nonetheless. Oh, come on. He's dodging the Colossus heads. Oh, my God. This is... We don't mind. Geralt, Geralt, it's okay. It's okay. I know. It's alright. Oh. Big game. I gotta... You know what? Some credit to Geralt for not tapping out. He defended. He held. It is the most direct example of the term, at what cost. They cost him just shy of everything. But he does hold. Instinct tells him about these medevacs. Did he actually see them, or is he slightly off? Oh, no. I doubt. It, there just aren't the units to deal with even one of these armies. Drop in the main. Attack at the third. Bing, bang, boom. Well, a great series from Geralt, but an even greater one from Big Game. Really just flexing. Especially that last game. Hero Marine comes out on top. Credit to Geralt for a tough fight. But at the end of the day, uh, Hero Marine battles through thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed i had fun that series even despite the the uh painful conclusion uh what do you think should we watch more girls in the future should you watch this video handpicked handpicked by jimmy just for you thank you guys for watching hope i made your day a little bit better i'll see you next time good luck have fun stay chill